but summer days seem to last forever. You need a lot of ideas to fill them up. Like playing jingle bells on a squeaky hinge. Ah, face it, George. We'll never get to jingle all the way. It's me, all right, at the bucket toss at the old country fair when I was a kid. If you tossed a bean bag in a bucket, you got points. And the bucket. Ah! Oh, I remember. <laughs> oh, that's a dunk booth. <sighs> Doesn't get better than a dunk booth. You mean hitting the bullseye and dunking some poor guy into the water? No, being that guy. <sighs> What's more fun than getting dunked in a tank of cool water on a hot summer day? Ah! Huh. <sighs> never thought of it that way. But not that I know. I never did get dunked, but I always wanted to be. Ah! And there it was. One bona fide, fun filled, terrific idea for a summer afternoon. You want to make our own fair, George? <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> okay, let us know if there's anything we can do. Need more buckets. <laughs> Hi, George. Are those for your fare? <laughs> okay, great. I wonder where he got all that stuff. Oh. Sprouts Camp. Oh! <laughs> Ahoy! All hands on deck! Aye, aye, Captain! <laughs> huh? Hey! How about Oh, sure, <laughs> of course. I, I was just, you know, cleaning them. Wouldn't want dirty bath toys. Wow, looks like your fair has turned into a big project. For the boat race. Check. Hmm. Making them go? No idea. Maybe we should forget the hose idea. 
When the firehouse bell rang across the countryside, the volunteer firefighters responded. Even if there wasn't a fire. Okay, George, I think everyone has heard it. <laughs> you want to get the siren, George? What a doozy of a turnout for this year's Fireman's Muster Games. I hope everyone has been practicing holes and ladder work. I must have climbed up and down to my treehouse a hundred times. Excellent. As you know, each year our town volunteer firemen face a different squad in games that test individual skills and teamwork. And each year, something goes wrong and we lose. George remembered that at last year's muster, things did go wrong. And got very wet. But if we stay focused, maybe this year we'll win that trophy. Hooray! Oh, you oh, oh, it is it, kids. Looks like this year's opponents are here. Hi, everyone. Well, look at that. George couldn't believe it. It was his friends from the city. Rescue Squad 86. Even Blaze. <laughs> All right. There are three games. Allie here will keep score. The team with the most points at the end wins the trophy. Our first game is a test of teamwork and strength. The fruit and veggie wash. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Each team must build up enough pressure in these antique water pumpers to hit their red or yellow targets. That looks kind of challenging. <laughs> Very challenging. Is this fair? Our, our team has more people. No, no, no. The number of people on your team isn't as important as how you work together. The key is teamwork. Captains, are your teams ready? Ready! ready. Go! Other side! Oh my gosh, we need people on the other side! No, no, no! Not everybody, not everybody! You four on that side! Everyone else over here! That's it! Now pull for your lives! Quick and quick faster! Uh, steady routine! Steady! The red team wins! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks. A bucket brigade takes teamwork and coordination. Fill your buckets, pass them down the line, and empty them down there into your trough. The first team with a full trough wins. Want to try it, George? Uh -huh. uh -huh. Full fire buckets are really heavy. Uh -huh. George loved fishing. Uh -huh. But his technique needed a little work. You city kids sure do some strange things to pass the time. Uh -huh. Fishing is lots more fun than catching algae. 
Want to join me tomorrow? I'll lend you a rod. Fishing is best really early. So you have to meet me here at 4.30 in the morning. George didn't think he'd ever been up that early. You just wind this dial in the back. And then move the thinnest hand to when you want to wake up. Four in the morning? Okay. You sure you don't want me to wake you? Good night, George. Happy fishing. Sure enough, George woke up at exactly 4 a.m. Or did he wake up at all? George, you're still here? Uh, someone's here to see you. It's eight o'clock. I've been back for an hour already. That's okay. You can come with me tomorrow. But after tomorrow, there's only one fishing day left. Then, putting away the boat until next year. You want me to wake you, George? George knew he could do it. Because this time, he had a plan. There was no way George's sleepy self would sleep through this obstacle course. But George's sleepy self was even smarter than his awake self. George? You overslept, but you still have one more chance. You sure you don't want me to wake you this time? Okay, good luck, buddy. There had to be a way for George to wake himself up. But what was it? If an apple fell on his head, he'd wake up for sure. Hey, George, wanna help me feed the chickens? George's problem could wait. Nothing beats feeding chickens. Bird seed wasn't heavy like an apple, but it could still wake him. This bird seed? What you gonna do with it? Pour it on your head? <laughs> okay. George loved visiting the Rankin's farm because there was always something new to see. <laughs> and in spring, there were even more new things. 
Yep, Leslie had a new calf. And she wasn't the only one. Gertie had a kid. Aww. And Pearl had a litter of piglets. <laughs> Oh, that's Hamilton. He's the runt of the litter. Uh, the runt is the smallest one, George. He'll need special care until he's a little bigger. <laughs> you want to take care of Hamilton? <laughs> George, taking care of a little piglet is a big responsibility. How about you help me plant these gladiola bulbs instead? Now you want to plant these four inches deep. That little pig sure is fast. Thank goodness George stopped him. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess Hamilton comes home with us for a while. I'll get you some supplies and make a list of all the things you'll have to do to take care of Hamilton. First, you're going to have to feed him four times a day. George tried to listen to Farmer Rankins. You'll need a warm blanket. But he couldn't help dreaming of all the fun he and his little buddy would have. You want to give him a bath. <sighs> Here's the list of directions for Mr. Rankins. Don't want to lose this. Everything Hamilton needs is in the sack. I'm going to take these bulbs to the garden. Holler if you need anything. Hamilton must be hungry. Feeding him would be George's first piglet care task. And George would feed himself, too. Why is Hamilton so squealy? Probably just wanted a better seat. Who didn't like a peanut butter, jelly, banana, and carrot sandwich? <laughs> Hamilton. That was who. Maybe he just needed a little help. Feeding a piglet required patience. Hi, George. Huh, how'd you get up there? You hungry, Hamilton? This bottle? This is Hamilton's food. Who knew it was so easy? You sure you can feed him? Okay, here you go. After lunch, George was ready to give Hamilton some exercise. 